I mentioned earlier that I'm a storyteller, and I do tell stories to groups of all ages. I love to listen to stories, and I love to tell them. And one of the things I really like about storytelling is when you listen to a story, all of the action takes place up in your imagination. And I think, in general, a lot of folks in America have undernourished imaginations, and that's why I think storytelling is a good thing. Sometimes I'm asked if a story I tell is true. And I don't know, you know, what is truth anyway? Do you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Do you stretch the truth a little bit? This is a story called Truth. Once there was a man who had everything you would think a man would want. He had a loving wife, a wonderful family, a beautiful home, neighbors that he loved, and a craft for which he was justly famous. And yet this man was not satisfied, for deep down inside he learned, he wanted to learn, he yearned to know the real meaning of truth. And one day he said goodbye to all that he possessed, and he set out on the road, a beggar after truth. And he traveled and traveled, he traveled along the rocky shores. He traveled along the, daren, the barren deserts and the lush green meadows. And he traveled for a very long time. And one day, he found himself at the foot of a mountain. And he knew that if he tried to climb that mountain, he would find truth. And so he climbed the mountain. And there he found her, for truth was a woman. And she stood at the entrance to a cave. She was a very old woman, so old that her skin was stretched across her bones like dried parchment. And her hair hung lank around her bony shoulders. She had but one tooth left in her mouth. But when she opened her mouth to speak, he knew that he had indeed found truth for her voice was pure and lyrical. And he asked if he might study with her to learn the real meaning of truth. And she allowed him to come into the cave and to study with her for a year and a day. And when his time was up, and he was again standing in front of that cave, he turned to her and said, Oh, my lady truth, you have taught me so much. Is there anything I can do for you? And Truth thought, and she turned her old head, and finally she pointed a bony finger and said, Yes, when you speak of me, tell everyone that I am young and beautiful. And that's Truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs>